Hi class, are you ready to learn? Let's start! Hello, good day! For this video, I am going to have a short tutorial on how to create folder on Google Drive for your virtual class. At the same time, in this video, I will also teach you a very simple step on how to make your students automatically locate the folder on their very own Google Drive. At the same time, this particular procedure will allow your students to upload files, assignments, or any asynchronous activities on that folder. First, I would like to say thank you to my friend, lovely Ellie, for assisting me in this particular procedure for my virtual class. So please click subscribe on her channel and at the same time, please click subscribe on this channel if you haven't done that. Okay, so first, of course, you need to log in your email. So in this case, I already have my email here prepared for this particular demonstration. So please click this button and go to Drive. Now, once you have your Drive, please click New. And then click folder you are going to create a new folder so please type the name of your class so say for example the name of your class is junior high school click create all right so now click junior high school if you will look at this drive it is still empty now I am going to teach you on how to make folder wherein your students can only locate their own folder and they won't be able to see their classmates' work or their classmates' folder. So how are we going to do that? So say for example, you have a student named A. Next, you have a student named B. All right, assuming that letter A has this email address. So I'm going to click share and type the email address of A. So say for example, this is the email address of A. How would you know if your students gave you the correct email address? Google will automatically give you a suggestion that that is an existing email address. So you will see here, share with people and groups, notify people. Again, this is the folder of letter A. Always set this one as editor because as an editor, it will make the students organize, add, and edit files on that particular class folder. Remember, this is letter A's personal folder. So now let's click send. All right. So if we are going to review the folder of letter A, look at the people involved in this folder. You will see the owner and the assumed email address of A. You may also change this one, get link. You may also change this to anyone with the link. Alright. So, how can A locate the files? I am going to show you later on how students are, are the students' view of this folder. But first, another way as a teacher to share this folder to our students is by clicking this one copy link link copied and then it's up to you if you are going to send this through email through messenger or any other platform that you have for your virtual class click done all right so now i'm going to show you the folder of letter b for the folder of letter b if you click share here 
you will see that the only person here is the teacher, the assumed teacher. So, you have to add the email address of student B. Now, what does it mean? It only shows that student A can only access her folder and she cannot access the folder of letter B because she was not added in this folder. This also shows privacy within the class folder of the class or the virtual class. So, you can impose privacy here. Students cannot see th their classmates' work. That is why even though they submit their work, only the teacher can see the submitted and synchronous activity, the submitted assignment, and all other stuffs that you ask them to put into their Google Drive. On the next video, I am going to show you how student A can access the folder that you have shared to her. Alright, we are now on the assumed Google Drive of student A. So this is how the class folder will appear to the student that you have tagged on that particular folder. Remember, the name of your drive is junior high school. But when student A tries to locate the folder, this is how it will appear. Let us click the icon drive. There, you see it. That is the folder where you tagged student A. The only folder that will appear in her Google Drive is the folder that you have tagged her. She won't be able to see the folder of student letter B. So let's try to click this. In this way, student A can now upload any files that she needs or any assignments that you have assigned her. So, I hope that you have learned from this simple tutorial and please do click subscribe on my channel. Uh, thank you very much and good luck on our virtual class.